This is the Clone King Rooter, Cloner, Propagator, and inside there's a pump and the emitters. It's a pretty simple setup. People make these on their own. It just wasn't uh, worth my time to put it together. Uh, my time's more valuable doing other things. So um, for the price, um, and I don't remember what I paid for this, but it was relatively inexpensive and I can't remember. I think I bought it right on his website and, uh, and it really wasn't too expensive. If you buy the parts and do it yourself, uh, you have the enjoyment of putting it together and accomplishing that. But once you buy the parts versus buying it already made and shipped to you, it really wasn't too expensive. So anyway, you have the pump and the emitters, and then you have the cover. And uh, it's pretty simple. He, he did a good job of making a cut right in one of the corners so that the cord for the pump can, can come out of that. And, uh, and then you have the um, plugs that go in each of these holes here. And there, the plugs have a cut in them and uh, a little slice going halfway through and you just secure the plants that you're going to clone into that and then they get spritzed with water from underneath. You want to make sure that you're following the same principles when you clone anything or propagate anything is to uh, keep everything clean and um, as free of germs as possible. So I went over this thing with alcohol and rinsed it off with water. And then here are the plugs and I soaked those with, uh, soap and water and then rinsed them off. And each plug goes in one of the holes. And like I said, there's a, a little cut in each one and you just open it up and, uh, put your cutting in that. So the plugs just simply go in each one of these outlets and um, now I'm going to try to do uh, different cuttings at once. Uh, I wanted to propagate a few things and I just don't have time to wait until each plant variety is um, rooted until I move on to the next. So I'm going to try to do a few at once. I don't know how that's going to turn out. I'm going to try to do fig. Uh, there's a rose bush out front I wanted to propagate. Um, there's another plant that's like a, it's really great for hummingbirds. I've got that out front. I wanted to propagate one of the vines that's growing out of uh, control super fast. I wanted to, to uh, propagate that and some uh, blueberry and fig uh, cuttings that I had taken and a while back. I don't know if they're still good. But uh, I took the cuttings a long time ago, and um, we're going to see if I can root them. All right, so those will be a challenge. If they don't root, it's not a, a product of uh, the machine. It's more human error waiting too long. One of the things I've noticed in the past is you've got to keep the uh, water in here uh, as cool as, as possible. Periodically, um, I remember I was doing this, I think it was in the summer, and I had to add ice cubes. But um, if you can uh, keep the water uh, as cool as possible, don't forget that there's a pump inside there and, and a cord and energy is going to be lost through the pump and the cord into the water in, in the form of heat. So that will automatically heat the water up. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and get my cuttings prepared and put them into the Clone King Rooter. All right, so what I finally decided on was I've got the first row here, this rose bush. So I've got all rose, all the first row is the rose bush. And then uh, just one, uh, I wanted to try a grape. So I've got a grape over here. And over here in the third row by itself I've got uh, raspberry 
I'm sorry, no, this is in the third row I've got, uh, this is wild plum. And then in the fourth row I've got raspberry. And then I've got this uh, butterfly bush or fire bush. Next row, um, I've got in the middle, I've got three more of the butterfly bush. And then on flanking on either end, I've got uh, black mission fig. And here's two more black mission fig. And then all, every everyone in the back is also black mission fig. All these are black mission fig. So we'll see how these take this time. Um, I am going to check probably after about, well, I'll check every day just to make sure everything's working properly, but I'll check for more seriously for rooting at around, uh, I'm expecting, I'm, I'm hoping for five to seven days, but certainly within a couple weeks. Uh, if I'm not seeing anything within a couple weeks, then uh, it'll probably be a negative outcome. So we'll check back. So I've lifted up the, uh, the top to the root rooter and you can see there's some rooting taking place there, right there. And uh, here's some more over on this one. And so I've got, and then there's one, a good one right there. So one, two, three, at least three good roots there. Um, and possibly, it's, it's hard to tell, uh, possibly a root on that rose. So definitely, oh, and there's this um, back here. I don't know if you can see this one. That looks like there might be a root forming there. Um, so the ones that are doing best seem to be the fig. And this is uh, day 16. So we'll put that back on, hopefully without damaging any roots. You can see everything from the top looks pretty good. Interestingly enough, and I've seen this before when I've been rooting figs and other methods, that the ones that don't seem like they're doing too much, like for instance, here's one that's actually putting on leaf. But if you go over to this one that looks like it's almost dead and you take a look and it's got some pretty nice roots. So sometimes you can't always tell or you can be fooled from the green appearance up top. Um, a lot of these things are actually putting on uh, new growth like this um, honeysuckle. And yeah, here's the honeysuckles putting on new leaves, etc. But if you take them out of the rooter, there's not, no, actually, you know what? Is that a root? It's hard to, I don't think so. So possibly a root coming out of there, but really not much happening, but a lot of new growth, uh, green growth on the top. And, um, and that can happen. And, a lot of times, especially people who root a lot of cuttings and fig cuttings, etc., know that just because you see the green doesn't mean you're getting roots. I'm going to keep this thing going. I'm going to plug it back into the wall and I'm going to keep it going until, um, you know, the if there's no rooting on the other ones, if the green starts to deteriorate and it looks like they're dying, then I'm, I'll pull the plug on this thing. I did add one new, uh, let's see where it is, this one. Actually, this guy right here. Um, well, let's see if I can get it out while this thing's still on. I hate to keep unplugging it. This I just put in yesterday or the day before, no rooting there, but it's actually throwing some green out. Um, that's a blueberry cutting that I had taken a, oh, maybe a month ago and put it in some soil and it didn't do a whole lot of anything. So I thought I'd try putting it in the, uh, the cloner. All right.
we'll keep checking. This is 16 days in and we have uh, good rooting on a lot of the figs. There's a little root there, but a root nonetheless. And nothing on that one. Good roots on this one. Again, these were some cuttings that I didn't think were going to make it. I was, get, I was almost ready to, to toss them because uh, they weren't looking so good. That one's not doing too much. I believe this one's got good roots here. Yeah, this one has fantastic roots. Look at that. And boy, it's going to be hard to get those roots back in there. Let's see. Yeah, that one's ready to come out. Um, this one here has good roots. As does this one, I believe. Now that... No, that one doesn't. Um... All right, so um, what about this one? Uh, yeah, this one's got good roots. So I got, uh, I think, about four of the of the fig going. The honeysuckle is hanging in there, and it's putting on very small roots at this point, but roots nonetheless. We did have success with the grape. Nice roots on the grape. So that's got to come out. And not so much success on the uh, rows. Yeah, not too much success on the rows. So that's it. Day 16. About day 13, they started to root. Here are the roots as I pick up the top of the cloning machine and you can see some some of the cuttings have some really good roots some smaller than others and of course the cloning machine's off so it doesn't spray all over the place but um, so I think very successful I already uh, um, cloned, I mean, I already uh, rooted and uh, planted out one of the figs that was in here. The next I'm going to do is the grape. Then I'm going to do the rest of the figs. Um, we did get on the honeysuckle, we did get rooting, which is pretty, pretty exciting there. Where is it? There we go. So there's the roots on the honeysuckle. So we know that we got the fig, the honeysuckle, and the grape. The uh, roses, not so much. We didn't get root. Oh, what do you know? There's a root. So we did get rooting on the roses. That's good to know. And it's stuck to my finger, one of the thorns. So try to take it off one-handed. Oh, for God's sakes, and my other hand is really swollen from a wasp thing that I got yes, about two days ago. So, uh, let's see, I don't know if you can see, but my hand's completely swollen from, a, from getting stung by a wasp. Anyway, that's it. That's the uh, clone king or root king. What is this? Whatever the machine this is. And... Um, Cloner King, I think it is, and uh, really positive results. Let's see on this this blueberry I planted. It's only been in here for a few days, so there, it's not fair to take a root. Yeah, there's no no rooting yet on that, but that's not surprising. All right, so I expect to get some some rooting on that, um, but I plan to start doing my figs this way and. Uh, um, 
for sure. All of them. And I'm going to start doing a bunch of grapes and, um, uh, I'm very happy with the results. So, uh, that's it. Um, I think this has application and I'm going to be using it extensively. All right. So I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to plant in, in a pot up. I mean the, uh, honeysuckle and it's got some pretty decent roots there. So I'm going to pot up the honeysuckle. I already potted up the grape and one of the figs. And so what I have here is some potting soil that I've mixed about <clears throat> maybe 15% biochar into. Uh, there's a little small container of biochar that I've been convenient it, um, putting in the uh, potting soil. And you have to be really delicate with these roots here. Um, they will break very easily. And kind of hard to do this one-handed, but I will attempt. I might just go ahead and get it going and then, well, I think that's good. Okay, so pretty simple. Now we have a rooted and potted honeysuckle. There we go. So again, uh, oh, and, and I did check and the, uh, that uh, rose was, um, a, a few of them did root for sure in that cloner. So, uh, so that's pretty good. Um, uh, but it is exciting that, uh, the grape did so well and the fig did well. And I just wasn't sure about the honeysuckle taking, um, some pretty green cuttings and, um, but, uh, the fig and the grape, that's uh, that's exciting that I can uh, have some really good results with that and get a ton of ton of clones and and uh, get them out into the garden, multiply them by the hundreds. That's it. Positive results.